Welcome to ATP Report. I'm Barry Nussbaum. Our very special guest all the way from Israel is Dr. Mordecai Kadar. He spent 25 years in Israeli uh, military uh, in the intelligence division as a lieutenant colonel, now retired. He has a PhD from Bar Ilan University where he lectures even today and uh, is going to enlighten us in English uh, on what's going on in the Middle East, especially in Iran. He speaks a number of languages, none of which I would understand, so we're going to do this in English. Welcome, Moti. It's my pleasure and my honor, Barry, to be here. Thanks so much for joining us. So let's talk about what is going on in Iran. On July 2nd, there was a huge attack in Natanz, Iran. They had the event of July 2nd in Natanz, in Natanz, Natanz right. which is another location where they develop the centrifuges and they enrich the uranium. There is a building there. Uh, and and you can see now in the picture, this is the building after the attack. Originally, it was this size, including the red circle. This part, which is the large part of the of the facility, is blown up. You can see the black part, and the parts are are dispersed all over the area. Here you can see parts of the building. Here you can see very much. And here, and here you can even see a big part of like six or seven meters long. And in order to have such a piece of the building flying from here to here, you need a very, very strong blast. And this is actually what happened there. Hundreds of kilos of explosives needed to uh, blow up this uh, building to that degree of, of devastation and the parts which are spread all over and all around this uh, building. And it, it means that everything inside this building is totally uh, demolished. Now, this building, according to all kinds of uh, reports, was either only the factory or also the storage of the newest, of the state-of-the-art uh, kind of centrifuges which the Iranian produced in order to hasten their way to a nuclear bomb. Do you have any idea who would have targeted this place? Somebody knew about this building. Somebody knew about what this building contains. And that somebody succeeded to enter this space, which is highly guarded, and you know, to approach this because you cannot even go in the roads which lead to that place because it's uh, by security. You know, nobody, you know, somebody can, uh, can go there. It's not allowed. So whoever arranged this blast in, inside that building, devastating everything which was inside, first of all, has very good intelligence to know exactly which building uh, is the building which he wants to, to target, what it contains, and he also has the operational abilities to go into that place with hundreds of kilos of TNT, high explosive, and to get them into the building and to blow them up. All right, that sounds... It sounds like James Bond. It is way beyond <laughs> James Bond. Uh, Barry, this action, which happened in July the 2nd, is in the league of the actions by which Israel succeeded to steal the archives of the Iranian nuclear military program. It is for the same league of operations, both the intelligence and the operational uh, aspects. Okay? So this is what, uh, what it means, what happens there. Are, um, are you suggesting, Moti, that it was Israel? Israel never admits. And believe me, there are some other countries which are at least 
enthusiastic to do it beyond Israel. Saudi Arabia. I'm sure that the United States, if they could, they would do it. I'm sure that the Saudis, if they could, they would do it. And the Kuwaitis and every country, the Emiratis, every country which feels threatened by Iran would do it with big Z, this action. Thanks for joining us on ATP Report. And a very special thank you to Dr. Mordechai Kadar for joining us. Remember, for those of you that haven't subscribed yet, please take out your cell phones in the United States only, text the word TRUTH, T-R-U-T-H, and send it to 88202. You'll be automatically subscribed to our text message service. You'll get all of our videos and important information on your cell phone absolutely free. For ATP Report, I'm Barry Newsbaum.